When you know how to turn your existing YouTube videos into shorts, you can save time on the creation side, plus drive traffic to your full-length YouTube videos. This works amazing on big channels, but even better on small channels looking to really start growing fast. Today, I'm gonna to first show you how to take your long YouTube videos and turn them into shorts on your phone, but if you want more control, and actually the ability in a lot of cases to do it even faster, I'll show you a couple ways to do it on the computer as well. And make sure you watch to the end because I'm gonna share three of my favorite ways to get more views on every video you create using your shorts, all right? My name is Jerry Potter, by the way. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And if you wanna to jump to any section, we've included chapters down below. So skip around however it fits your needs. So I'm here in the YouTube app. And the first thing we're gonna do is go to the video on your channel that you wanna turn into a short. So I'm gonna tap on my profile picture there on the lower right where it says you. That should bring you to this screen. Then at the bottom there, I'm gonna tap on your videos. And then you just need to find the video that you wanna use and click on it. For this demo, I'm gonna use a clip from my podcast, The Six ways. And so if you look down at the bottom there, you can see the like button, the dislike button, then it says share, remix, thanks, all of those. We're going to click on remix. Then you get this pop up with all of these different options that you can do. And that top one, edit into a short is what we're going to use. And just so you know, this is only available on your own channel. You can't do this on anybody else's channel. However, the rest of those options are things you can do to any video that's on YouTube, any public video. So I'm going to tap edit into a short. And it's just gonna pull up the video that was selected. Now, obviously it looks quite awful here, but let's see if we can fix that up a bit. So first thing is in the upper right corner, you see a little circle, it says 15 S in it. That stands for 15 seconds. So you need to decide how long you want your short to be. If you want it to be 15 seconds or less, you can leave it there. But if you think you might want it longer, then tap that button and it'll switch to 60 seconds, which is the maximum length of a short, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is use the white handles on the outside of that to find the beginning and the end of the chunk that you want to use. Now, this may take a little bit of time if this is a 20 minute video that you're turning into a short. So it's a good idea to just figure out like, okay, I'm pulling something from about the 14 minute mark. Then you find the area that you want. Once you've got it, hit done. And then you have all the regular features, text and voiceover and timeline and all those things, filters that you can add to this video, just like any regular short. And if you want a full shorts tutorial, uh, definitely check out the link in the description of this video for that. But the new part that I'm really excited about is that lower left button that says layouts, okay? Watch what happens when I tap on that. It brings up these options at the bottom to split your screen. So by default, it's single, which means you're just filling the whole screen with one video clip but you can also go through and they have split one, two, three, and square that gives you different options to create different types of videos. So this is an interview for my podcast, right? Two people on two different cameras. So I can click split two, which basically now puts the video in two different halves of the screen. But now I can go through and I can pinch and zoom to basically fill the top part with my guest and then the bottom part with me you have to get it, you know, exactly the way you want it to look. But now look at that. Now I've taken this widescreen interview from my podcast and I've turned it into a stacked video that I can go ahead and turn into a short in just a few seconds, which I love. So I just love how quick and easy this is to do. This feature for me has completely changed how many YouTube shorts I'll make out of my longer YouTube videos. All right, I'm gonna share my screen again here in a second to show you how to do this on your computer in a way that in some cases will be faster. It's amazing what AI can do now, but also so that you can have full control on exactly how your short turns out. By the way, if you found this helpful at all so far, uh, please give this video a like, or if you found a couple of things helpful, then by all means, leave a comment or hit subscribe. It just lets me know that this is valuable so I can continue to making more free videos like this for you. I'm here right now and on my my favorite editing tools, Descript. And if you're not familiar with it, I think it is the best editor for social media videos. I've linked to a video all about why that is just to show you what you can do with it in the description of this video. But what we're gonna do now is use one of their AI tools. Right now I have an episode of my podcast, The Six Ways loaded up in here. So this is like a 30 minute episode, 33 minutes it looks like. And I'm gonna come up here to the top where it says actions. And what Descript calls this is find good clips relatively straightforward name. So I'm gonna put that into their Ask AI. It's gonna suggest this prompt, find five options for clips I can pull from this script. Each clip should be around 30 seconds long. So if you want to adapt that, you could. I'm just gonna go with the default though and we'll see what we come up with. Now, depending on how long your video is, this could take a while because AI to process video can, you know, can take a few minutes, but not too long. And the script uses the transcript and pulls up the sections that they think are going to make the best shorts. So if you like what comes up, you can choose select in script. You can also type to refine the response a little bit if it's not quite right. 
um, or you can start over or close it. So let's go ahead and select it in the script. And so what it's done is it's found five 30-ish second sections. And if you click over here on the right, you can jump through and see the different sections that it has chosen. So one of the things I like about this is since you can see the transcript, you can at least look at it and go, does this make any sense at all? Because some of these AI shorts video tools that will just, we'll create your shorts from scratch. Oh my gosh, are they just, they nonsensical, right? They make no sense at all. So I love that the script at least lets you see what it's gonna be before you start in. So if we look back up here at the top of a little AI box, it has the option to duplicate to a new composition. So I could click on any one that I like and say duplicate, or I can just say duplicate all. So let's click duplicate all and see what happens here. And as soon as it's done, I come up here to this drop down, and I can choose this clips one. And now it's copied these directly into these five different scenes as they call them. And the nice thing about these scenes is when you go to exports, you could edit each one of these as a different short and then export it all as separate files. So I paused the recording for a second. I just went through these five different clips that were generated and uh, three of them were total garbage, but surprisingly, two of them were pretty decent. One of the things I love about Descript is some of the other AI tools that I've found, they'll find an interesting part for you, but then, you have to do a ton of work in order to get it ready to publish. But with the script, the editing tools are so much better. So I can quickly switch to portrait like so. And then I can resize this here so that it fits. I can add captions all within a few seconds because I'm already in an editing tool. Now, if I had to do this over again, I wouldn't use this produced version of my video podcast that has the graphics and the, the text and all that kind of stuff. I would use the raw footage of just the two camera angles because then I know using Descript's templates, I could do it a lot faster, but lots of potential here. So I'm pretty impressed with the find good clips test in Descript. Now, next I wanna show you a different tool and this is CapCut, which is owned by the same company that makes TikTok. And they have a very good free video editing program for both Windows and Mac computers. And they just introduced this little feature, AI Clip Shorts. So I click on that and then I take a video that I want to use and either select it on my computer or drop the file there. And it's gonna go to upload the video to then turn it into shorts. So you've got a few options here. First of all, if you want to use the whole thing, so this is a 33 minute podcast episode, you can do that. Or if you know you only wanna use certain sections, like maybe you know the intro is no good, you could trim off the intro and maybe trim off the ending because you know that those parts aren't good. So one, it stops pulling stuff from there. But the other thing too, is with the free version, you get three hours a month. So if you had a one hour podcast or something, then, then you wouldn't be able to do it for free. So just something to be aware of, you can shorten it that way. Once you've got the section you want, and then you can down below choose to have it automatically set the duration, or maybe you want longer clips, for example. So you can choose less than 60 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds, or 90 seconds to three minutes, depending on what you're doing. Now, YouTube shorts can only be 60 seconds max. So that's the one that we'd wanna choose for shorts. And then we click down here and we click get shorts. So I'll let this upload and process and come right back. So now that it's done, let's see, in that same episode, it found 18 different potential shorts. And you'll notice that, again, all it was basically one click, but it went through and it made them vertical and you can see it actually added captions as well. Now, let me quickly pause and go through and see if any of these are any good and if I would actually use them. All right, so I just went through and I watched all 18 of these clips that were created. Now, one thing that was cool in Descript is I could see the text the transcript, so I didn't have to actually watch them to kind of get an idea of whether it was gonna be any good. One thing that I do love in here is you'll notice it actually gave a title to each of the clips. So even before I clicked on it, I kind of knew what it was gonna be about. Some of them were a total mess. Like there were some like this where I'm talking but they're showing the guest on the screen, right? Which is pretty useless at that point. You're basically watching somebody listen to a voice. But then there were some like this one where it actually switched effectively back and forth between me speaking and then when the guest started speaking, it automatically cut over to that. So that is really impressive. Overall, I would say that of these 18, I wanna say I counted about six, so a third of them that I could easily see becoming another piece of content without a ton of additional work. Now, one thing you can change really easily on any of these, down here at the bottom, obviously it has the graphics, so I, I would probably import the version of this that didn't have any graphics on it. That would be the way to do it um, next time. But with any of these, you can come over to the caption style button here on the upper right, and then they have a bunch of different styles of captions. So maybe you didn't like the captions that were on there, so you could instead 
choose this one. So you've got lots of different options here. Some of them say pro that requires the paid version, but there's some pretty fun ones that don't require the paid version. Or if you didn't want any captions, you could turn them off. Now I will tell you one thing that makes me nervous is I think they did overly design this for TikTok. Because if I turn on these captions, you see how low these are? Sometimes on Instagram Reels and Facebook Reels, the text on the screen, like the username and the caption will actually push up over those. So these are not ideal placement for captions, but it's kind of cool that they're, you know, that it makes it so quick and easy. The other thing that's cool is like Descript. If you liked this, it was pretty close, but not perfect. You can click edit and it will open it in a project. And then if you just needed to trim something off the beginning or the end or anything like that, you could do that and then hit publish. The whole point with these is to save as much time as possible. Good YouTube videos can take time to make, which is why I wanna share, as promised, three ways to use shorts to get more views on every video you make, okay? And the first one is obvious, it's what we did here in this video. Take your existing videos and then get clips from them to make shorts and then point those shorts back to the full video like we talked about. The second way is to actually record a new short pointing back to your full video. And the reason this is different, and I think better, is rather than being limited to what you already had in your original video, you could take a video. So let's say you had a video like one of my podcasts where we said six ways to make money from a YouTube channel. Then I could make a short that said, hey, real quick, here are six ways to make money from a YouTube channel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Want to hear exactly how to implement each of those? Click the play button at the bottom of this video and watch the full discussion on how to do this. So I'm giving value in the short by itself, but then if they want more, they can go back and watch the full video. And the great thing about this is you can do this for videos you made years ago on a YouTube channel. And the third way to use shorts to get more views on every video you ever make is to use the remix feature. So you can go in and go to any of your videos and tap remix, and then you can use part of that video and add on to it. So maybe it's something you said a couple years ago, you add some commentary on it now, and then again, refer people back to the old video if they want to learn more about it or go more in depth. If you want to quadruple the reach of your YouTube shorts, they are already almost perfectly formatted to put on TikTok, Facebook Reels, and Instagram Reels. However, the way they show up on each platform is slightly different. So I made myself this guide so I knew exactly how to film my YouTube shorts so they wouldn't be covered up by graphics or buttons or ads if I put them up on the other platforms. This has been so helpful to my business and if you'd like a copy, you can have it completely for free. Just go to the link in the description of this video and I will see you in the next video.